In this video, I'm going to go over the str-spn function in C, which allows us to determine how many characters in an initial segment of a string are made up of a specific set of characters. So I'll show you what I mean here. I can say include string.h because that's where the function is defined. Now you've always got this string library when you're using C because it comes with C. And then we'll define two strings. I'm going to say here car s1 is equal to, and I'm going to make a string that's going to start off with numbers and at some point switch to letters. So maybe this is some kind of code that's used in some kind of business. So we'll say here like five, eight, three, nine, one, four, five, and then like zero, two. And then there's going to be some letters afterwards. So it'll be like A, B, you know, J, K, T, M, N, T, Y. And we're going to say this is some kind of code that represents some information. And we want this part of the code. And this is a potential use case for this function is, is you're trying to like analyze some code like this to figure out where the starting point is for a code. So we could say here, car and then we'll say here nums is equal to zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and what we're going to do is we're going to try to determine how far in this string we have to go before we find the first character that is not in this set of characters here that is not one of these characters in this string here so we'll try it here we'll say str spn and we'll put an s1 and nums as arguments so s1 is the string and nums is the string that defines the characters that we're basically trying to find in this string in terms of the initial segment to see at what point do we have a character that is not one of these characters. And then we're going to say here int position is equal to this. And we'll do a printf of the position first. So we'll say printf position and we'll say here percent %d slash n and we'll put the position here. And we could run this here. We'll compile it. And we get position 9. Let's see if that's accurate here. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And yes, that's accurate. So we're confident we're using the function correctly. Now, the one thing about this function is that the order of these numbers here doesn't matter. It's checking to see in the initial segment of the string at which point it's going to reach a character that is not in this not in this string at all. So the order actually doesn't really matter. It's not like, you know, we could say here eight, nine here, and this is going to work just as fine. So we could run this here. We're still going to get nine back, right? So the other thing we might want to do is we might want to print out the string here with these remaining characters here. So we could say like car star and we could say like remaining is equal to and we'll say S1 plus position. And then if I did a print F of remaining, we'll just do percent S here. We'll say percent S and we'll print out remaining. This here would actually give us a pointer to the remaining part of the string. It would basically give us a string that represents the substring of this larger string here, S1. So I could actually compile this, run this, and I get the remaining part of the string printed out here as well. So I could use it to work with strings like this as well. Like once I've determined how far into the string we have to go before we find a character that is not one of these characters here, then, you know, we could then look at the rest of the string like this, for example. So that's the str spn function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.